back right here, like you can last where you can have a brace on it. And the synovial joint tissue is called pelvic syndrome. And you're going to move across the synovial tissue because it's swelling up. And we've done it for someone since I was little. But it's just built up so my pelvic pelvis has like a shield around it. Mine doesn't develop very well. All right, Daniel Yield. With the annual yield, it's calculating is the following. It is calculating what simple interest would, in one year, produce the same amount of money in interest as the compound interest amount that you're given. What? No. Annual yield compound interest aren't the same. Annual yield is the, the number, the percentage that you would need in simple interest to produce the same amount that this compounding amount would produce. Because simple interests are easy to compare. Basically, it's just here's your one thing. And so those formulas are easy to compare. So we're going to be using this formula right here to calculate the annual yield on 5.5% compounded quarterly. Remember, annual yield is always for one year. So, for my annual yield, I need the periodic rate and I need the number of compounding periods there are, and that's going to be for one year. So, what's the periodic rate for my problem of 5.5% compounded quarterly? What would that be? It's 
So yours is a QX and a sigma X and minus 1. So some of them look like sigma X and minus 1. That's the sample standard deviation. Is there any other weird thing that's on the calculator? Where do you think it? It's on that screen after you've done your calculation. So have you done that? Yeah, that's a very good And whenever it happens, so there's your SX right there. That is not the sigma X, it's the SX. It's the SX. So, did you find out the data in? No, I don't think it won't calculate the data unless you've done it. So, click on the top, go to the 